Hey guys. Yeah, so I just sort of found something interesting. I am just uh, replying back to this guy here. Um, he, he's done the thing where he says the KJV is a Jesuit Bible. Which, uh, <laughs> straight away I go, okay, well I'm, I'm interested in whatever he's, whichever lot he's from or wherever he's from sort of thing. But um, with his little devil symbol there and whatever and he says the first bible network and i thought oh, okay so I'll, I'll have a look at that what's this first first bible network so usually with these guys but you see that symbol straight away i'm just thinking catholic <laughs> uh, but yeah you usually you just go down the bottom there and you see this word here um Mark Markonite Christian Church. I was like, okay, so I have a look at this. Who's this? Markonism. Um, so yeah, Markonism was an early church dualistic uh, belief that originated originated from um, Markion um, around the year fourteen four. That's interesting. Anyway, um. Early Christian theology, evangelist, middle age, second century, uh, where he joined, he he joined the Syrian Gnostic Cerdo. Okay, so he was Cerdo. Um, he was deemed a heretic. Okay, so yep, Catholic <laughs> got, got heretic. Um, follow of uh, Simon. It's taught about the same time. He was a, a Roman contemporary of a Roman bishop. Um, he taught that there were two gods, one that demanded obedience for, while the other good and merciful, according to Sedo. The former god, former god was of the Old Testament who had created the world. He also said the latter god was superior, but that uh, he was only one known through his son Jesus, like later Gnostics. He rejected that um, Jesus was resurrected, or bodily re resurrection of the dead. So he doesn't believe uh, you can be bodily resurrected. All right, so that's who this fellow Markion joined, and he preached that the benevolent God of the gospel, who sent Jesus Christ into the world, uh, was the true supreme being, different and opposed to the malevolent demiurge. Or creator God, different to the creator God, identified with the Hebrew God, of the Old Testament. He considered himself a follower of Paul, the apostle, whom he believed to be the only true apostle of Christ. Yeah, so that's what I mean. I opened up a new can of worms on this one. I thought, oh, I haven't heard of these guys before. <laughs> but, um, yeah, interesting if you, if you want to get into a uh, looking up that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, just another one of those weird offshoots. It's basically um, Protestant uh, that totally rejects Old Testament, I suppose. Be along those lines. They probably have like little, I don't know. <laughs> probably distance themselves from the Catholic Church like the Protestants but uh, pretty much the same lines but don't bother with the boring Old Testament stuff uh, it does not appear that Churdo left any writings so yeah so he's a fan of his mate Churdo uh, what else uh, the gospel he had his own gospel so his own gospel uh, the majority of scholars agree that the Gospel was an edited version of the Gospel of Luke. Uh, th the theory of uh, Macaron priority does not exist. So his Gospel was edited from my favourite Gospel. Luke's my favourite Gospel. If you're going to have one, that's, that's the one we have. Um, <clears throat> so he's edited the, the greatest Gospel out of the lot. It says here, it seems, this is in the introduction of Luke, it seems good to 
to me also having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first right so he had perfect understand of understanding of who the creator is um, he has perfect understanding of who Jesus is who the Holy Spirit is and who the Father is uh, to write unto the in order so he wrote everything in the order that he's supposed to write it in so whether we understand it or not that he's got it all in perfect understanding and perfect order so this is one if, if you're going to mess with a book don't mess with this one this one and probably revelation <laughs> but yeah the, the he, he shouldn't be playing with that it's it's perfect so anyway um yeah this is these this lot from macronism whoever what are they the first book the first book lot yeah and then if you want to you can go and look up this stuff here another interesting thing i found uh this chi ro symbol uh, they give you all the stuff that's it's, it's all nice christiany sort of thing i see it a lot on the thing i just got accused the bible got accused of jesuit stuff um but i found something interesting there where it's got the the this there we go the symbol of the pre-christian origin is found on copper coins minted by herod that's interesting so this symbol here minted by herod it's a representative of value so they've monetized christ <laughs> and uh yeah that's that's amazing they've they've um used money and they've put it on on their symbol which he actually put on his shield on his when he went to war uh was it um uh the roman emperor there christian times what's his name I don't know if it's on this one, it might be here. Is it there? I forgot. Anyway, one of them Roman emperors used it to go off into war with. And, um, well, there we go, Constantine. Um, and he used it for military. So it's their military standard. So he's, you know, we're fighting in the name of Jesus and, and we're going to win because we're, we're going to kill you in the name of Jesus. So that that's pretty much that's where all that come from so anyway that's interesting big can of worms opened up there and encourage you to have a look at that and um watch out for these guys <laughs> they're interesting but you know they they don't believe in bodily resurrection so yeah. they haven't even got half the they only left themselves half the gospel like the bible's um old and new all in one there there is no dividing the two the whole point in the old testament is to help you with the new testament and, and you actually can't um uh um, decode revelations without the old testament and uh everything's perfectly written you, you can't believe how good how perfectly written the KJV is it's, and until Holy Spirit st helps you through it start showing you stuff you, you, you just you have no idea <laughs> it's huge it is so big unbelievably big can't fathom it but yeah anyway um, God bless guys and have a look into that it's interesting <laughs>